धन्यवाद टू एवरी वन धन्यवाद टू रे माई हार्ट टू यू विथ योर परमिशन आई वॉज टॉकिंग विथ गोपीनाथ एंड ही वॉज आस्किंग वॉट कुड बी स्पीक अबाउट एंड आई वॉज वेन आई वॉज लास्ट टाइम the feelings of the mastery in regard to radhika and my good is baba he has this wonderful nice booklet it's called ratha darshan and it has several very wonderful uh let's say paragraphs or little little uh session sections and if you permit i would like to read from these and they are very wonderful माइक्रोफोन Test one, two, better. Yeah. Can you understand now, brother? Yeah, it's good. Okay. Nice. So I was thinking to read from from Rasa Darshan some selected uh, paragraph sections, which are very very wonderful in regards to Radhika and the feelings of the Manjari. So Gurudev Baba is uh, writing about Radha Tattva, and I find this very wonderful. And I know Gurudev, you love to hear the glorification of Sri Radha, and maybe someone is also very interested in the supreme glories of Radhika. So Baba is giving here one big page uh, about Radhika, Radhika's glory. Shri Shukamani has glorified the greatness of Radhika's love among all the damsels of Raja in Sri Mad Bhagavatam 10, 30, 28. Some people are reluctant to accept the greatness. of radhika's love because they think her name is not mentioned in shrimad bhagavatam chukadev has not mentioned the name of any gopi in his purport to verses such as idyun mata vasu gopya bhagavatam 10 30 14 Shila Vishwana Chakravarti Thakur has said When Shukadev was about to describe the mysterious pastimes of the gopis in the assembly of Maharaj Parikshit the gopis inspired him not to reveal their names in this assembly on receiving the prohibitory order of the gopis chukadev was immersed in the ocean of bliss and in spite of describing their pastimes very nicely he has not mentioned the name in not doing so he has merely executed their command sanatan goswami path has stated in his beautiful explanation to the verse anaya radhiko nunam that because he was so much in place shukadev has only revealed the name of swamini covertly and secretly in his explanation he expresses he expresses his opinion whether sukadev mentions the name of radha or not 
There is no doubt that in the descriptions of the Raja Leela, amid innumerable gopis, he has waved the victory flag of the supreme love of only one certain principal gopi. That principal gopi is none other then Sri Radha, the quest jewel of all the consorts of Krishna. Many Shruti, Purana, and Tantras extol the supreme greatness of Radhika. Ungopala Tapani Shruti, Sri Radha, is the original potency of the supreme being. She is eternal. Lakshmi, Durga, etc. are only her parts. Just as in spite of being the supreme reality, Krishna is the cause of all causes. Similarly, although Sri Rata is the supreme potency, she is the supreme cause of all other potencies and energies. Just as Rukmini is the chief of all queens in Varaka, Radhika is the chief consort in Braja. Padma Purana says, as Radhika is dear to Krishna, the lake in which she passes is also equally dear to him. Among all the gopis, Radhika is the dearest to Krishna. Rasa with Madhava and Madhava with Rasa are eternally and inseparably existent for all time. Narada Pancharasa and Kalpamya Tantra, two very famous scriptures have repeatedly described Sri Ratha as the supreme potency in the following Lakshmi. words. Lakshmi Sarasya. Please note that the word para exists in all these verses. The Baba was quoting several verses. Para means supreme. In this way, there are a lot of evidences of Sri Ratha being the supreme amongst all other potencies. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it has been described the concept of Sri Krishna are of three types. The Lakshmi in Vaikunda, the queens in Dvaraka, and the Bracha beauties. Amongst these, the damsels of Bracha are most superior. And Sri Radhika is the source of all the consorts. The Lakshmis are her by Bhava Vilasa, while the queens are her by Bhava Prakash. The temples of Praja are her expansion. They have all different forms and nature in order to please Sri Krishna. The exaltation of Raja is not possible without any of these opiates. And there are many forms 
to make the pastime more attractive. Moreover, they have different types of bhava and rasa for the pleasure of Krishna. They make the pastimes such as Rasa Lila more relishing to Krishna. Ratharani enchants Govinda and causes pleasure to Govinda. She is Govinda's life and soul. She is the chief of all other consorts. Chaitanya Charitamrita Adhila, fourth chapter. Sri Rata is the questual of all the consorts of Krishna. It can also be told that Sri Radhika is the be all and end all of Krishna's pastimes. Raghunath Das Goswami has written in his famous Vishakandananda Sutra, Sri Radharani is the golden creeper embracing the Krishna Tamala tree. In the blazing heat of summer, she is the sandalwood paste, camphor, and cool moonlight on the body of Shyam. In winter, she is the golden yellow, warm clothing on his body. In spring, Sri Rata is the sweetly scented, vernal beauty, bringing exultation to the Krishna tree. In monsoon season, Sri Rata is the Manchu Mala musical note playing in the showers of Krishna. In autumn, she is the embodiment of the beauty of Rasa, lending joy to the king of kings of connoisseurs, Krishna. In the Dewey season, she is the embodiment of victory, causing defeat to the sign of the king of Raja, Krishna, desiring a duel in amorous pastimes. He resembles a newly formed cloud. She is a static lightning. He glows like an emerald. She glows like golden arrows. He is the king of honeybee. She is a newly blossomed lotus. He is like a young tamala tree. Twin. She is a golden creeper. He is moon face. She gazes to that moon face like a tempted Chakora bird to always gaze at the moon. Pada Kalpataru. Just as Lord Krishna is the form of unparalleled sweetness, Sri Radhika is the supreme essence of all love. Chaitanya Matya Lila 8 chapter Mahabhav, or supreme ecstasy is the highest essence of love and the embodiment of that Mahabhav is Sri Ratha. She is the embodiment of love. She is overflowing with love. She is famous as the greatest of all beloved of Sri Krishna. Immersed in the nectar of supreme ecstasy of Radhika, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has expressed unique divine madness in the great pastime 
of the Gambira Leela and has therefore declared the supreme greatness of the love of Sri Rata to his confidential devotee. Sri Kaviraj Goswami Pat, the expert artist of Prema Rata, has unraveled the brilliant greatness of the love of Radhika for the loving devotee by perfectly drawing the image of that supremely sweet and ecstatic pastimes in the Anjalila of Chaitanya Charitamrita. The Mahachans have sung, if Goranga had not been, how would I live? How would the world know of Radhika's glory, of Radhika's love? How would we enter the sweetest pastimes in the sweet Nikuncha of Braja? Who else could have expressed the feelings of the temple of Braja? So here ends Baba's explanation of the glories of Radhika. The next chapter is called Practice of Devotional Service in Manjari Bhav. Good if you want to say something to Radha Sattva. No, good. This is nothing I could say more than Baba. This is the highest. Practice, maybe now you can explain deeper when we go into the practice further. Practice of devotional service in Manchari Bhav means the single minded servitude to Radhika. It is the special. Single mind. Single mind. Single mind. Not dual mind. Not three mind. One single, one point in service to others. It is the special, not never to offer generous contribution of Sriman Mahaprabhu in this dark age of Kali. Have said. That is Why? the Srimad Slow, slow. Why? Yes. Yes. Why Mahaprabhu gift is this? What is the sloka? What Mahaprabhu gave Swami. And Jananda Ujjal Unnatrasa. Ujjal Rasa is okay. But what is Unnata? What he improve in this Ujjal Rasa? My mind becomes weak, so I forget who. Unnata means something more adding. Yes. And that Unnata Rasa is Radha Dasan. Yes, so the perfect. One point three. One mile. And the general subject was this teaching was this the way 
love is the way and god is the goal but mahaprabhu teaching comes that god is the subject and love is the goal that is not udgara god is not a goal god is the subject and the love is the goal radhika is the goal so so this is one mind one pointedness and one goal In Sri Mad Bhagavatam, there are large descriptions of the moods of the beloved, but this does not mean that there is no description of the love of a female friend, prema for upasaki at all. In the purport to verses such as Abhyena Patnuka Pakatha Bhagavatam 10:30-11, Shiva Goswami has written. all the words of this world are suggestive of approval we should understand that sri rata's friends are anxious to see both rata and krishna together hence they are inquiring about them from the dose on the range this is the verse where the gopis talk to the dog kamarupa bhakti is of two types samboke chatmai and this we talked about last time also but here it goes more little bit more in the detail samboke chamai tad bhave chatmika samboke chatmai is the mood of a beloved Tat bhave chatmika is the mood of a sakhi, manjari. Sakhis are of five types. Manjari is one of them. They are always ready to serve. Service is their only existence. Service is their soul. whether the manjaris were present during rasa lila cannot be confirmed but there is a mention of attendant in the description of rasa by the poet karnapur in his book ananda vrindavan champu and Our Rupa Goswami Path has written in verse 42 of Sri Utkalika Valari, Dear Sri Mati Radhika, when the last of sport starts in Vrindavan, he's searching all other temples of Prasha. Krishna will take you to a secluded place and being very submissive to you he will decorate your hair with various flowers and now comes the evidence that manjari is of reference in the rasa lila we are holding this scene from far rupa goswami is saying as rupa manjari when will my heart overflow with transcendental bliss This is evidence of the presence of the manjari serving Radha and Krishna during Rasa Lila. The one whose sole purpose of existing is to relish the nectar of the loving pastimes of Radha and Krishna 
they who forget even themselves in the joy of bringing Radha and Krishna together. Those friends of Srimati Radhika are classified as samsneha, equal in affection, and asamsneha, not equal in affection. Now Baba is explaining. Samsneha, those who have equal affection for both Radha and Krishna alike, those are called samsneha. Now Baba is explaining asamsneha. They are those friends who have unequal love for Radha and Krishna. They are further classified into two types. One, those who have greater affection for Krishna, Krishna Snehadika, and two, those who have greater affection for Radhika, Radha Snehadika. Danisha, etc., they have greater affection for Krishna. As a Manjari Bhav Sadhika, one does not execute devotional service under their allegiance. Sakis and Manjari, such as Rupa Manjari, who possess more affection for Radha, are designated as Manjari. Rupa Goswami has named their Saiva permanent mood as Bhavolasa Rati. Mm -hmm. Now Baba is explaining this very, very unique and wonderful mood of Bhavolasa Rati. In Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, Srila Rupa Goswami writes, if the law for a friend is the same as or less than the law for Krishna, then it is a sanctuary bath, meaning a non-permanent mood. But if this law grows to the point where it exceeds the law for Krishna, then it is called Bhavala Sarati, and then it is a Sthai Bhav. Baba is now explaining this in very detailed words. In Una, in Una, in Ujvali Namali, it is written, devotees having similar desires naturally have friendly feelings towards each other. Hence, the Rati and Saki, such as Lalita, possess towards Sri Radhika, is called friendly Rati. If this friendliness to Radha is equal or a little less, than the passion towards Krishna, it is called a temporary passing rati, meaning that this friendliness towards Radhika will only be like waves in the ocean of the permanent passion towards Krishna. Now Baba is explaining it for the mantra. But, if the friendliness towards Radha is greater than the passion for Krishna, it will gain supreme speciality in Madhura Rasa. And it will be designated as Bhavolasa Rati, state of exultation. 
And this is the permanent state of the Manjari who have greater love for Radha. And by this, their passion for Krishna is secondary. Yeah. Good Very clear, right? Very crystal. Yeah. In relishing the nectar of joyful service to Radha and Krishna, their, their position is the highest. Although they belong to the class of Sakis, they are much more superior to the Sakis due to their single-minded service. They are also considered superior to the Sakis because unlike the Sakis, who sometimes on being approached by Radha, accept loving pastime to Krishna. But the Manjari never ever desire the joy of loving pastime to Krishna, even in their dreams. No, no, no. <laughs> Explain more to this. Other is not our goal. We have to concentrate in our goal. Yes. So, Only to, what is my goal and how to live in that? We not need to collect the information, we need to fix ourselves. Explain this. This is what homework you are giving today to us that we practice that. To fix ourselves one point and give hope to us. So this this power lasts of Adi, this permanent mood by the grace of the Deva of you and Baba and the Gurus who are in this mood, this mood can appear in our hearts. So it and is our and goal. And how to do it to say say that. More read and share that. Even if Krishna requests them, or Radhika herself may eagerly approach them, because of their immense purity, they will not comply. So we hear that the Manjuris have only one desire. They don't desire. To be with Krishna, they only desire to serve them and to bring Radhika closer to Krishna. Sri Radha. So actually, even the Bhagavad's Gopi Gita is not required to us, to the Manjari Bhagavad. What is the, the highest in Bhagavad, Srimad Bhagavad Gopi Gita, that is also, is not our goal. This is the, what is the slope? Unnat Ujjwal Rasa. Ujjwal Rasa. That rasa is higher than something else. He see the ocean by the rest. Unnat Ujjal rasa. That is Unnat Ujjal rasa. That what is that point? That we don't need even Krishna? And when he comes in the dream, he says, disturbance to Unnat Ujjal Rasa. It's a disturbance. 
if we come and live and find Krishna is disturbance. Right? <laughs> See that. The verse so that if the verse you will your we remember is Anai Pita Charim Chira Karuna Ya Bakir Naha Kalau Samai Pai Tum Kuna Kutwala Rasam Babakti Shriam May the sun Bhakti Shriam Bhakti Shriam But in Bhakti the highest What is that? Unnat Ujjwal. Unnat Ujjwal. Ujjwal Rasa is there, but Unnat, what is Unnat? What is more improved? That is Bhava Ullah yeah. Actually, he's talking about Bhava Ullah Wonderful. To practice Bhava Ullah Sarati, other, other Bhava has to stop it. To listen and talk. We are not a teacher. We are a student practitioner. We have to only practice Bhavalasrati in the center of our song. One pointed, one mind. First Bhava say one mind. No keep two, three, four mind. I have no place in the mind. Sri Raji, go on. It's actually good if at the end Baba is giving, like you said, Baba is giving two wonderful examples on how to, as a Sataka, how to immerse oneself in the Leelas. I will come to that very soon. Go on. The mantra is, possess the extraordinary fortune to serve. Vrata Vilasa Sava 38. Now Baba is showing the unique position of the mantra. Vrata Vilasa Sava 38 from Raghunathas to Swami Park. I seek refuge of those maid servants of Sri Radha, headed by Sri Rupa Manjari, who constantly satisfy Sri Vrindavaneshwari by offering betel leaf, massaging the feet, offering water, and arranging meetings of the two lovers. Those who have obtained unrestrained right to frequent the place of the amorous pastimes of Sri Adha and Krishna. Practicing devotional service in their allegiance is the teaching of Sriman Mahaprabhu and his followers such as Rupa and Sanatha and Goswami. Shiraragana Das Goswami Pat has prayed. Vilapa Kusumanjali 16. O oh Goddess, I seek nothing other than the mercy of your lotus feet. I pay obeisance to your friendship, but honestly, I only yearn for the position of being your Darcy. So yeah, very, very important point. One point. And this desire comes when we understand Sana, Sambandha. Sambandha is there. When there is no samanda with the, who is shocking? 
Samanda with the Istadev is the most important. Then Avide Akam, Jayarada, Kassan, Ashwari, there. Samanda with the Istadev is the most important. Then Gurudeva helped to develop Avidya. First he showed when Nam Ruchi coming in the chanting name Ruchi test me, then he bring to the East Samanda. When East Samanda is done, then Avidya. <laughs> When Avideha will happen, the identification of material and spiritual body will be identified. And we will know that our identification is a spiritual body. And I want to meditate in my soul. That is Avideha. That is Rupa Siksha. Then Pariyojan of life is not with the material body and senses and my false ego. My Pariyojan will change in my life. Goal of my behavior change only for the service of the Son, for my yesterday. So here, name is mentioned Rupa, Sanatan, and Raghuna. When Rupa, Mercy, Desire, Pavideha, then Sanatan, practicing Sambandha. Without Sambandha, we will not like to be close. We become close, we are close, because we have a relation. So we are together, 80, 100 people together. So this is the relation developed with the love to develop, how to know more deep in the subject. This samanda is very important. Once relation is fixed, everything is start moving. is all based on relations. Yeah. Yeah. This servitude mm. to Radhika is the special mercy of Sri Kora Sundara. Ah. A special mercy. Before was the with the not Radhika, with the God connection was there. The goal was God, not a goal was love. That is what is love. Not what this is or not. Ujjwal was there, Krishna. But what is on that? Not Krishna. Not Krishna. Could not serve the Lord. Or not or not? Not Ujjwal Rasa. Or not Ujjwal Rasa. Are you not Krishna? Yeah. Forget Krishna. Krishna is the disturbance. He is naughty. His behavior is naughty. And he will always act like a naughty boy. Develop or not. Develop yourself. Bhav will love. Your bhav will come that it will never go down. It will be always a bhav, feeling, ullas, highest happiness. 
And if you imagine that I is jumping all the time. Sanatan so, Kaswami has called it the most extraordinary and supremely great path to be accomplished. In the realm of love, there is nothing higher than this for the conditioned soul to obtain. Yeah. Now Baba is giving two examples. We are totally content souls. In the circumstances, condition with the senses, with my plastic body and all ego. This is my condition. Somebody say we are not condition is not possible. This is the naughtiness of the Krishna that he makes in condition. He gives the soul and he gives the condition also with the soul that all senses is a gift to you. And you will, that soul will, his senses will control you. And one false ego, mind is there, but one false ego also I give you. Because the, what you say, the demon say, you give a place, every place to saintly person, but where is my place in this body? He said, please, one point give me. So the false ego, he give one point, one black point. And then he said, if somebody not Think for you, pray for you, then I will expand my mind. So false ego, when the, they know pray for the God, then he expand his empire and he cover whole body. He, he start acting like a demon. That is the nature of the Satan, demoniac. So that is the false ego. So is we are so conditioned. My soul is conditioned, so these things cannot give realize to feel and understand that. And when I don't know my soul, how I will understand the Krishna? The Krishna creates create this blockage. Like the mother brings the toys to play to the child, similarly the whole living soul created by Lord Krishna and he give these toys to play and engage in that toys. So Baba say this only can go on in this condition, soul can free, free this line. Yeah. Yes, Lord. In the realm of love, there is nothing higher for the conditioned soul to obtain. You see, what? When the love will increase, then nobody can. That madness of love will break away. Madness. Love make you mad. You then you break all your circumstances. Read this line again. Sanatan Goswami has called it the most extraordinary and supremely great task to be accomplished. Mm -hmm. in, in the realm of law, there is nothing higher. For the conditioned soul to obtain. You see? 
Even the conditioned soul can obtain if the love is the heart. Mad, become mad. <laughs> That's the bit. Mad, madness come in love. That is our strong need. Unnat ujjal rasa. Ujjal rasa. What is unnat? The ra... Mahaprabhu says, forget, he is a subject. Or a god is the subject. Love is the goal. Radha is the goal. This is the beauty of Chaitanya. Adi Leela four canto three. Subject is Krishna, goal is love, Radhika is the good. Up to now, all the philosophy changed when Chaitanya appeared. That is unnat. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Yeah, yeah, sir. Could, Could I ask please? a question? Could yeah, I ask a question I... of you and Tarun Baba? Yeah, yeah. This question of madness. Isn't the madness caused by the fact that we're conditioned souls and that there's a there's a a conflict between the conditioned soul and the unconditional soul. Isn't that what madness is? Conditional soul. Can I answer? Conditional soul is obvious condition. But this madness breaks all the conditions. Mm. You know, that is the point. Gopis has a husband, gopis has a children. Gopi are the all family member, but when the madness, the flute come in the air of the gopi, they become so mad, they forget their duties, and they run away from that. Means that the blockage cannot block it from in madness state. Madness is Meaning of breaking the blockage. <laughs> breaking, breaking the condition. You see, one person, why they drunk alcohol? Huh? Because to, to become, to forget, they came on to break the, all the rules and condition. Mm. They drink the wine. Right? And the real wine, Wine is one, one is divine. Is when they test the divine, more madness is coming. And more. One, when they test the honey wine, you don't ask about that. Right. The, I think this is what I'm. This is what I'm understanding that it's uh, can. It's being in conditioned life and then having a taste of the unconditioned. This is what creates madness. Yes. Then condition cannot stay and condition is no meaning for that. Right. That is saying in the rati. Rati, yeah. Rati, last desire. Last means if some many are sitting, you become blind. You forget to identify any other one. Okay. <laughs> one madness has to drive out the other madness. Yes, that's mm. the point. So we, we have to search the mad. To, to we become mad to make us mad. Right? Yeah. Yeah, 
is the only way that Mahaprabhu come in the Kali that without becoming mad, these all blockages cannot be free. We cannot free from the blockage because we are so conditioned. And knowledge and my information and my not nothing works. The senses are so make condition. My faults you know, make so condition to me. Nothing works. <laughs> In Bangla, they say, ear is listening, but not understand. Sune kaan, but not, they, they don't understand. They are listening, but not understanding. <laughs> they are not. Go on. Sorry, oh, Baba is giving a very, very wonderful uh, passage where he is gives examples on how to immerse ourselves. One example is in uh, union and one is in separation. In Gaudiya Vaishnavism, when one takes the shelter of the feet of a sad guru, mm. the faithful devotee is introduced to his monetary self a maidservant of Radhika. You know, he said, hey, find some mad. Mad, some mad who is very close to Radhika and he become mad. Gurus are manjari. Manjaris become mad in the seva. They are. They know only one mind, they think and work on one mind, you know, two minds are there. They are Aheshki Kripa coming from Somni. Krishna has many and he has to keep many minds because he has to run the whole universe. But Radhika has only one and that is Krishna. Why she need many mind for that? Many, many storage. One storage very fit for her, Krishna. So she has a one mind. And the Manjari is also, that's the Dasi of Radhika, also keeping one mind. No need many things to collect. So, Guru is important who make us practice to keep one mind, make it one. one. Thereafter, <clears throat> along with hearing and chanting, he has to constantly meditate on his true self and be absorbed in rendering devotional service mentally. A minute, no run. True self means what? Baruch. Tarun. Yes. One mind Baruch. can meditate. When you, you meditate in Saru, your condition is gone. Uda, you meditate meditate in your spiritual identification, your condition, you are conditioned. No. Out from the you shed your condition then. You have no more condition. That, this is Guru Kripa. Radha, Radha. Free, freedom. Condition is in the body, plastic body. Condition is with my senses.
and not all I practice one life. So many life I have practiced. So it is my nature. One thing, if you concentrate in your sarupa, everything without knowing you, you don't forget everything. <laughs> this is the beauty of Chaitanya Mahab. Mm. Ujjwal rasa, unnat ujjwal rasa. That is unnat. That is the speciality of Chaitanya. Devotional practice is of two types, external and internal. This is from the Chaitanya Charitamrita. You, you, you see, everybody, slowly, that everybody can concentrate. Yes. Huh? External is Vaidhi Bhakti. Outside, I am showing many things. But inside, how much? Inner change has to be there. Inner realization has to be there. The moment inner realization will come, all will become peaceful and then you are not doer. He is the doer. Boss is your doer. You are on the instrument of your boss. You are not the doer. Yeah. One should hear and chant in the external material body while one should serve Radha and Krishna in Braja. One minute, one minute. So, what is the material body for this? For chanting? Material body to remember Him. Why? Because this blockage, if you want to remove, there is no other way than chanting. To come out from the blockage, that name will make purify to the senses, false ego, and my plastic body. This is my material condition. Germany is not good, or America is not bad. I'm a German is not bad. My material condition is bad. My way of false ego is doing problem. Nothing is bad, nowhere. People say America is bad. I got the inspiration to leave everything and become renowned order in America. He said, Maya Nagari. I said, No, Divine Nagari. Many Indians, boys, go in America and they become devotees. Their whole life they were never devotees. I see many, many Indian boys in America. I say, what was your previous life? He said, never. I work, I go to temple, but now I change my life. So outside is no problem. Our consciousness making us problem. Our condition makes us problem. Hmm? 
when we come to see Abbasarup, the all problem go out. I'll stay here or there, all is burned down. Where my Swami is there, and his lover is missing to him, and I call and attend to him, and try to organize their meeting, that is done. One should hear and chant in the external body, while one should serve Radha and Krishna in Vraja all day and night by meditating on one's spiritual body. Meditating in a spiritual body, you see, any place I can meditate. My sarup is to wake up, wake up. My other thing is gone. Every place is Vrindavan. <laughs> How merciful Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, our Gurudev. Anandas Babaji Mercy, he give the words to to practice like this in our life. You say to say something about Mandiri Chatna. This. Yes, the last, the last paragraph now, Baba is giving two examples how to absorb our mind in the past time. And he is giving two examples, one is Dipralamba and one is uh, separation and one is union. The practicing devotee who wishes to relish Rasa and who is yearning to obtain the mood of a manjari should follow this process. And now Baba is giving the first example. First example is Vipralamba Rasa, the Rasa of separation. And he is giving an example of end of the midday pastime at Radha Kunda from Govinda Lilamrita. Translation, 1894. Sri Radha's body resembles a golden urn filled with the cool milk of the pastime of the darling of her heart, Krishna. Thus, she brings so much joy to the fine broad Saki Manjari. But now, she becomes the cause of their grief by being by becoming pale and sorrowful, stung by the poison of separation. Now Baba is explaining. Here in this meditation of the Sadaka, the subject is Radhika, who is now stricken with grief due to separation from Krishna. The object of love are the manjari, the paleness of Radha, due to separation and sorrowful look are, are the excitement causes. Tears and paleness are silent activities. Depression and humility are the passing moods. So we have to try to feel what Radhika is feeling now in this example. These moods together nourish the Bhavalata Rati of the practicing devotee who possesses greater affection for Radha and thus resulting in the rasa of separation. Devotees. No, no, explain, explain this. Explain. So here, explain. Baba, 
Mm. Baba is giving an example. When Radha and Krishna are at Radha Kunda and then he gives the, he gives the example that at one point Radhika becomes very pale and sorrowful because she thinks about the oncoming separation of Krishna, from Krishna. So now Baba is saying that we should try to feel this mood. When Radhika goes into the separation mood, we should try also to feel this mood, how she is feeling and how can we help her. Devotee. So here, say one thing, Radhika is a subject. That is the most important thing. Yes. And that is the object. Then love moving. The object becomes subject now. For Krishna, Radhika is object. For Radhika, Krishna is subject. Miss, this is love. Love is bringing to us. Love is the way to go up to the object. So, one point it sees. So, it sees teaching to the Mandiri. If you want to do this, you want to be a Dasi of me, you have to be one pointed. If you have a many mind, many things in your mind, you cannot do it. You have to fix your object. So who is your object? Who is the object of Manjari? That's it. Huh? Radhika. Radhika. Radhika is object. So what I do with my object, you also practice with your object. So this is Mahaprabhu line. It says that they teach by their behavior. They act and show us. Without in the practical life, when it will not come, realization will not come. So you have to you have to practice. Radhika is teaching to Dasi, please, you have to make like me. Like I fixed one pointed object. If you want to also fix one object, you will reach there. We have many objects to reach, so we never go. Jack of all, master is none. We know it anywhere. Right? Never happened before. So subject and object has to be very crystal clear in life. Go on. Now Baba is explaining, devotees, practicing in the mood of Manjari should equalize their mood with that of the Saki Manjari. Meaning, in one moment, the devotee thinks in the mood of a manjari and that he is present in the place of the pastimes in his spiritual form. And again, he thinks that he is a devotee reading or hearing the pastime of separation. Thereafter, Relish occurs when he equalizes his feelings with those having similar moods. This means that the devotee who is practicing feels the same pain of separation like, for example, Sri Rupa Manchari did. Yeah. Like our Guru Manjari did. This the same mood. I no need to gather information. 
we have to feel the same feeling how he feels. Our teacher, master, Guru there? Radhe Radhe? Yes, Mahatma. There is a beautiful word, actually, which Tarun read, equalization. Mm. And I think that Baba is explaining how much is important this equalization that we can properly make anugata, following the emotions. Right. Right. Equalization, yeah, same, same feelings. We have to absorb ourselves, our hearts, in a role model which we want to follow. So this yeah. this equalization brings bhava and all necessary things in our heart, which later expand on our practice. Because we cannot Sorry. practice if we don't feel what we are practicing. Very good. Very good. Radu, Radu, Thank Very you. Good. So Baba is giving, this was the example of separation, or Baba is giving one example of union. From uh, Sri Krishna, our number one. Honestly, I feel my feeling without union, you know, feels richer. Sorry to say, but what is without union, without knowing how you can feel separation. Yeah. So they meet before that is that is not become old, but so they feel that they are not together. They, they meet yesterday or they meet one hour before, but the moment they are not together, they are feeling separation. This is the point. Without union, without meeting, without knowing someone, I can feel separation. Is out of the idea, but it's not like that. They're always together, they're always meeting. Is what happened one hour before its separation happened, and then it's happening again pain of separation. They feel each other sometimes, good, or sometimes even separation happens when they are together. When Radhika is sitting on the lap of Krishna. And he sees herself in the pearls of him, then she feels separation, although she is together yeah. with him. Yeah. So I say this topic because many are listening in the Zoom classes, is the hundred maybe. So separation not to start is happening. But they are one hour before they separated. And now they feel separated for one hour mission. Sri Rad. Uh, yes, go on. The verse is 925. Hearing these humorous and witty words of Madhava, the Sakis were thrilled and filled with great bliss, their blooming lips resplendent with the moon of soft smiles. The king of bits immediately crossed over to them, and as soon as he placed his hand with fierce pride on Sri Radhika's body, Cupid covered the forms of young lovers totally with arrows in the form of goosebumps. Here, the subject now is Radha and Krishna together. The object of love are the mantras. The humor 
while collecting flowers. And Krishna touching Radhika are the exciting causes. Soft smiles, fluttering glances are the gestures. Goose flesh, shivering and perspiration are the silent activities. Joy and pride are the passing moods. These moods together again nourish the Bhavalasa Rati of the devotee who possesses greater affection for Radhika resulting in the Rasa of the Union. Yeah. The, practice, the practicing devotee should again consider himself to be a mantra and associate right in the pastime and next think of himself to be a reader of the nectarine pastime. The resultant of this equalization is the oneness with the manjari having similar feelings and hence he is able to relish the rasa here in this example of loving union. In this way, the devotee's practice in the mood of a manjari is able to relish the four types of rasa and separation, such as purvara, and four types of rasa in union, such as short, narrow, etc. Pretty Sandarbha. There's one verse from the Pretty Sandarbha, and Baba is concluding. The devotees yearning for the mood of a manjari, now comes this what Goranga said, should assume oneness with the relish of the eternally established manjari. This is what we say when we say Seva, Seva Sadaka Rupa and, and Sita Rupena. This is the this is the point to make our feelings equal to our role models. The devotees yearning for the mood of a manjari should assume oneness with the relish of the eternally established manjaris, in our case, Sri Rupa Manjari or Sri Guru Manjari. Then their feelings will flow through the devotee's heart and thus enabling him to gain access to this most wonderful Rasa. In his purport to Alankara Kautuba, Srila Vishwana Chakravati Park has written, and this is very nice for us, the method of gaining access to Rasa is first the, the appearance of extremely joyful passion due to repeatedly hearing the divine literature that is filled with the mood equal to our own desire. This is a very, very important. I, sh I shall read again the whole day. The method of gaining access to Rasa is first, the appearance of extremely joyful passion due to repeatedly hearing the divine literature that is filled with the moods equal to our own desire. Yeah, <laughs> What is the own desire to become Radhika Dasi? Sorry. Nothing with Krishna. 
if you want to keep both of business then radha dasi will not come one point chairman's one mind anang manjeri one checker is there she check is a gopi bhav or manjeri bhav she check because she is a gopi also and manjeri also he give the chance to check he is more with krishna or radha so we cannot do mistakes there then she sent back again to rupa goswami you are not qualified to do that you are not plan nicely to be a dasi of radha you can be a friend but you cannot be a multi met sir you can be a friend he is more good position but the met servant not want to be a friend why not want to be a friend is a good position than why maharaj ha that to such why not to be a friend than a mentor because good if the friends have not have not had bhavachatmika the friends have not this closeness to radhika they cannot experience the same as a dasi as a kinkari the kinkari is have this third bhavachatmika this closeness and this oneness so we don't we want this for sanskrit you have to act that i understand please i no understand with sanskrit you have to act yeah okay. to understand. the 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 friends the friends like lalita and vishaka they cannot look into the heart of the manjari the manjari has this special unique opportunity to be close in the heart of radhika they are much much more closer to the heart of radhika because they have much more affection for radhika so they feel the what radhika feels much much more intensely than what the friends feel so our goal is not to be a friend but actually to have been the lower position as a manjari which is actually the higher position so because we are the manjaris are so close with radhika we also want to have this can i add something friend because we know krishna first right we everybody knows this now first dance by the way i understand radha rani right so krishna that is there krishna is inside to me the meeting for krishna is also there but why i make friendship with radha to make easy to meet krishna okay krishna meeting how i can go but if i somebody goes to meet and make friendship the closeness of krishna then more easy that i can meet with him i can be close to krishna so inner desire is there for krishna meeting yeah <laughs> <laughs> is inner desire is there because is a my previous sanskara is moving me
and this meeting of Krishna, when Krishna check, when he has a time, he wants to please also to the Radhika's friend. And he fulfills all his desire like a Maharaj. He becomes 16,000 gopis and many gopis and all Krishna separate dancing with him. So he do the Maharaj. He gives. So this desire has to go out. Or you will be a sincere met servant of Radhika if you have a desire to meet with your friend. She will be very, very, very close. Never. Some lady, you want to catch his husband or boyfriend, she gives you a chance to private thing to say. She will be interested to tell, share you something. She will lose her property to make your friendship. So do not keep the distance really. She also understands, Radhika, that why you come to me for Krishna. So very careful. Radhika. Gurudev, I want to add one more about this one. Can I share? Yes, yeah, but uh, you're welcome to share. Thank you very much. So why we want to choose Manjari Vamba, the Saki Baba, is uh, Manjari is more fun. <laughs> Saki have some limited some, some, um, for example, we cannot enter Kunja, Manibrita, Nikuta, Kunja. But Manjari can go everywhere. And Manjari can everything for Radha. Which is more fun. And which is more fulfill our desire. Because uh, we are Pradini Shakti. And many things for the Radha, then it's, it is our more pure original position. That's why we want to become Manjari, Manjari Baba. This is my small feeling, Jesse Rade. So this is in the Sanskrit, how last? This always keep you mad. In feeling, how many feeling? Last means always madness will be there. Honey wine, you are drunk, honey wine all the time. Not divine is satisfying. This is not fulfilling your desire. We need honey wine to drink, and that is our last. That is Radha. Radhe, Radhe. You know, this Kisori is from Japan. She said, in Japan we have 11 years time, 6.30, before Japanese devotee, 10.30 or 11. How many are there? Uh, 100. Can I see them? Well, what is missing? We can keep on next next uh, Sunday. Karan Baba, we go on with this. This is I finish. This was finished today. No, you have to research. Beautiful subject. More such Sunday. <laughs> I have to double up our price. Right then. Yeah. 
is a very nice is a is a rasa darshana this book this rasa darshan what is name book rasa darshan wow but it's very very incredibly rare to get i can put advaita ji advaita ji made a nice uh, a nice digital version i can put the digital version into rasa darshan if someone if, if someone is a rasa darshan if people are interested i can i can put that it's very very nice but i never saw it in the bookstore it would be very nice what what really inspired me by this book was first of all baba is speaking about the rasa how to experience rasa and he is making example also that he's saying that actually worldly literature can help one to understand rasa tatva this was normally you hear everything is maya but actually papa is telling me that great poet david allo fifth mallo you know prema is the fifth mallo in your sarup bhave is the sixth mallo and mata darshan is the seventh mallo the seventh man to read this book i see in italian that difficult to get but i can put it for everyone if, if, if people are interested they can just just download it and, and read it yeah. yeah so thank you my dear radhe radhe